Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. Today I'll be discussing about the antipsychotic drugs and its actions. So when talking of the antipsychotic drugs, the we'll be talking of the entire characteristics of the antipsychotic drugs can be well known if we just look at the actions what its prototype drug what its prototype drugs causes so when looking at the uh, antipsychotic drugs the prototype drug for of this class is the chlorpromazine so just let just let me tell you as to what is a prototype drug a prototype drug is that drug which is the first form of a drug or a medication that is used to create an alternative form that is they are also called the lead drugs so if we are talking of the antipsychotic drugs we uh, the prototype drug of this category is chlorpromazine so the it is the first form of the of the drug or a medication that is the lead drug of the antipsychotic drugs is chlorpromazine so we'll be today we'll be focusing on the actions caused by the antipsychotic drugs so its actions are first so the entire uh, actions of the prototype drug or that uh, of antipsychotic class that is chlorpromazine can be better remembered if we just uh, remember the initials of the term antipsychotic where every letter every initial a n t i p s y c h o t i c is going to correspond to one of the actions what it elicits in the human body so the first a of the antipsychotic it stands for the antipsychotic effect in psychotic patients that is it is the therapeutic effect of the antipsychotic drugs second the n stands for the end of the antipsychotic stands for the neuroleptic it is used in neuroleptic syndrome in normal patient which has a very unpleasant effect the t of the antipsychotic stands for the temperature control is disturbed just because of the use of this drugs so this is an adverse effect next the i of the antipsychotic stands for the increased chances of epileptic fits due to decreased seizure threshold so another adverse effect of the antipsychotic drugs can be looked upon as that there can be chances of an increased epileptic fits can occur because the seizure threshold level the seizure the seizures threshold value is decreased when looking at the another um, next p of the psychotic we have the it leads to the the antipsychotic drugs leads to an increase in the prolactin release leading to it can lead to galactoria and gynecomastia so another adverse effects can be better remembered can be better seen if we just remember the p of the antipsychotic the p of the antipsychotic in the form of increased prolactin release which can lead to galactoria which can lead to galactoria and gynecomastia so the s while uh, the s of the antipsychotic is going to correspond to the we'll be looking at the side effects what cause what it causes so the side effects can be uh, categorized uh, classified as the extra pyramidal side effects which can be seen in the form of parkinsonism dystonias and echa thesia and dyskinesia so the why of the antipsychotic drugs the actions what it elicits is the yellowishness that is it can cause cholestatic jaundice as well the c of the antipsychotic will correspond to the cholinergic antagonism that it can lead to dry mouth the h of the antipsychotic will correspond to hypotension the patients which are on the antipsychotic drug therapy may experience hypotension the o corresponds to the obesity the t corresponds to the tolerance to some effects like sedation means the patient who are on antipsychotic therapy can develop some effects like they can be they can it can lead to tolerance in some effects like sedation and i of the antipsychotic the i 
corresponds to the inhibition of the gonadotropin secretion. So another effect what can be seen on usage on using of antipsychotic drugs is that it can lead to inhibition of gonadotropin secretion. The gonadotropin secretion can be is inhibited due to the use of antipsychotic drugs and the C the last C of the antipsychotic is going to correspond to that antipsychotic drugs are used in certain the use the one of the uses of the antipsychotic drugs is can be that they can be used in treating certain spasticity conditions which are certain spasticity conditions are released are relieved but sorry uh, the certain spasticity conditions are relieved due to the use of antipsychotic drugs so here viewers i have categorized all the effects of the antipsychotic drugs if we just remember the initials of the letter antipsychotic the antipsychotic if we just remember the initials of a n t i p s y c h o t i c we can just remember the effects what can be seen on use of an antipsychotic drugs so viewers this was my analysis as to how we can easily remember the actions which are elicited by the use of antipsychotic drugs viewers if you do like my video do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching my video